The first of the month is always the busiest time at the international market in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. That's when shoppers who rely on the federal government's supplemental nutrition assistance program to buy food get their monthly allotment. Owner Miguel Pachardo depends on their business. Yes, I'd say about 95% of the people use food stamps. The average household receives $252 a month in what's commonly referred to as food stamps. Recipient Yasmin Machuca says that even with the assistance, the last week of the month is a struggle. It's been hard because the food isn't enough for the month. We have bills and we're a family of four living off one person's part-time work. So for everything you have to pay, you don't have enough money to cover it. It's a common story all around Woonsocket, a former mill town hit hard by the recession in 2008. One in three residents here is on food stamps. The number of people in Rhode Island who rely on the federal government for assistance buying food has more than doubled in the last five years. The state has one of the highest unemployment rates in the country. And while there are signs that the local economy is improving, the jobs people are getting just don't pay enough, reflecting a national trend. Machuca works part-time at the local dollar store. As the cost of the SNAP program increases, so too do calls to rein it in. Ken Block, a former candidate for Rhode Island governor, conducted a study that suggested both recipients and store owners were abusing the program. The federal government uh, estimates nationally that there's a billion dollars of fraud in the food stamp program. In my experience, uh, working with the food stamp program for several decades, I believe it's likely that the number is substantially higher than that, potentially as much as $10 billion annually. Rhode Island officials insist the majority of recipients are deserving and say cutting the program now would be devastating. There's $300 million coming into the state annually for food assistance. So as you can imagine, that's an economic lift not just for families but for retailers and wholesalers and so forth. With no new industry to fill the old mills and empty storefronts, federal assistance remains a lifeline for the entire community. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, Woonsocket, Rhode Island.